first impressions for you and it's this new covergirl foundation i got golden tan because in the other cover girls i'm in golden tan as well i love golden tan i feel like it matches me perfectly so when i seen this i was like yes like i love when covergirl does that so i'm just like yeah there's no having to guess which is which you know so it comes like this and the packaging is really cute it just looks really fancy and it's just really cute like their packaging is always cute like look at it always always cute and I like that it came with this weird applicator like look at that like it's just weird like you can hear it flapping like it's so weird but um let's see it says squeeze a small drop of foundation directly onto applicator using applicator blend downward uh so applying in the direction of facial hair growth okay that's all it says so you just apply down cover girls first makeup to minimize the look of flaws and fine facial hair so that's pretty interesting so this should be fun i like how it has like a little dent where you can place your hand and just like smooth it on this should be very interesting so the amount that you get is 25 ml the regular cover girl um ones are one fluid ounce so it's like mm, not that bad you know so let me go ahead and pop it open so this is it right here and it says to dab on the applicator it says to dab on the applicator so I'm guessing just like that. This is so weird. So just like that. Okay. So I'm just. And just smooth on your. This is so freaking weird. Okay. So just start smoothing on your face. But you got to bring it down. You don't want to go up because that's what your hairs are. So just start going down. It's kind of like cool because like it feels weird. Like it feels like. It's really pressing into your skin, which is pretty cool, but you're just not used to new things, you know? So, your first impression is just like, ugh. So, let me just smooth that into my face. Smooth into my face. Oh, it's kind of weird, though, because, like, you put the dot right here, and then you just want to focus the foundation just on that area, but it, it tends to come down more. So, that's, that's just a uh, but let's just go apply some more. So I like how it just gives you a little thing like that, though. So, just put some on the forehead. and The forehead is going to be a problem, boo, because of the eyebrows. So, make sure to be very careful. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. You just got to, like, kind of, like, curve it over the brows. Okay. I think I got this getting a little bit more than I usually would in my hair, but that's okay. Let me just fold it so I can get on the side. Oh, it's so weird. You can fold it to get in between your brows. Okay. And I was going to lightly tap it to blend into my forehead. So again, I need a little bit more. Going in with more. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. Uh. And uh, it dries pretty quick. This it dries pretty quick compared to the other um, CoverGirl foundations I've tried. I usually have to set them, um, but this feels like it's drying, so that's pretty cool. Okay. So. There's my forehead and half my face, so it did cover. Yeah, I think it did cover a little. More than a little. Like let's let's be honest. So right at the back I have to say that this foundation does not cover the facial hair because I do have some peach fuzz going on right here. Um on my cheek. It's not like oh my god, just a beard. But you can kind of see like the peach fuzz. It's I wait, it's still there. Like you can't really um you can't really be like, oh, you don't see them no more. Like, they're still there. I, I seriously don't think that there's... 
anything that can really cover your peach fuzz, whatever, unless you shave your face. But please don't do that because like once you shave it, you always got to continue to shave and it's just going to grow in thicker. I don't know, people say that's a myth, but to me, I've always been scared to like even shave my face because I'm like, what if it does grow in thicker? And I have to shave more than Rudy. Like, you know what I mean? So like you have to be careful. So I don't think it really covers um, the, it doesn't like, you know, like cover the hair. The, that, that you have and stuff. Um, it says first makeup to minimize the look of flaws and fine facial hair. So fine facial hair, maybe it's like not like yeah. I would I would I would describe fine as peach fuzz, right? I don't know. Would you guys? I can kind of still see it. I'll zoom you guys in closer so you guys can tell. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have peach fuzz right here, right here. So you can still see them on the side right here and here I don't feel like it was like oh my god they went away it's like I think personally they're always gonna be there until you shave them off so going in with more I'm gonna go on to this side and I'm just gonna start blending that in I guess this really helps with the nose area because you know sometimes you really got to get in that that um, crease you have right there with your nose, and you can just like push and it kind of like just blends it in there. Okay, so there you go. Overall, I think it did cover, um, it did cover my face and stuff, like the amount that I want. Like I, like I always say with CoverGirl, you can build. Um, their, their foundation is always amazing. Their foundation is built to do medium to light, not uh, light to medium coverage, and then coverage to full coverage. Um, in my opinion, when I mess with their products, I tend to use their CoverGirl to use as an under eye because it's so thick and you can just build it up to the coverage you want. Okay, so, so far, I like how the foundation went on. I really like this little thing that it came with, the, like the little applicator. At first, I was kind of like iffy about it, like, eh, this is kind of weird, I'm not used to it. But then I got to thinking about it, like, while I was applying it. With the Beauty Blender, yeah, I like the airbrush finish, but a lot of product gets sucked into this. And even though, like, you're blending it on your face and you're getting a flawless finish, you think, what the hell, because some of the product's still in the sponge. Well, of course, it's going to soak it up, right? And, um, yeah, so this, you apply it and you're going to use it. There's no way that this silicone can suck it up or anything. You're going to use it. So that's pretty cool. So it's like you don't waste foundation, your product, whatever, concealer, whatever you want to use this for. You don't waste it. You're going to use it. So whatever you squirt on it, you're going to use on your face and it's going to it's going to be used. There's no way to suck it up, you know? So Beauty Blender sucks it up, which I still love the Beauty Blender, but like I'm just giving you an example. So I'm going to continue to apply the rest of my face, like my bronzer, my highlighter, and all that. And I'll be back. Okay, so I already finished applying like my mascara, my eyes, and the blush, contour, all of that good stuff. And so far, I'm loving the way the foundation is holding up. It looks really, really good. I don't know what you guys um, think. Leave it down below what you guys think so far. Uh, your first impressions of how it looks on my face, what you guys think about it. I really like the way it looks. I love it. I love the way it looks. I was kind of iffy. Even though I like the applicator, I was kind of iffy. Like, hmm, I wonder how it's going to look after like I'm done with like my whole face you know things tend to change but it looks pretty good I really really like the way it looks so far um like always I'm gonna do a full day wear and I'll keep you guys updated throughout the whole day so it is now now 148 so I'll keep you guys updated throughout the whole day so far I'm loving it girls I'm loving it so it looks really really good and I'm not just saying that because like I'm trying to boost my self-esteem up like I really like the way it looks it looks really, really good. <laughs> so I'll keep you guys updated throughout the whole day, and I'll let you guys know. Mwah! I'll be back. Okay, so it's 5.37. Okay, so what I can see with the foundation is that it's still holding up. Um, it's, it's okay. It's not oily. I did notice a little bit of oil, like, greasiness on the nose, but that's normal with um, foundations. I tend to get oily on that spot. Um... You can still kind of see like my blemishes right here, here, here. Those are like the spots that tend to break out and stuff. So I try to cover there as much as I can, but um, 
yeah overall it still looks like it held up it's holding up pretty well my blush and my bronze are still on that's how I can kind of sometimes tell when foundations last or not to see if my bronze are still in place and my blush and it seems to be so so far so good so I'll keep you guys updated hey ladies so I'm back it's 1101 I'm so sorry I didn't give you guys updated throughout the day. It was super busy and I'm trying to get up uh, music videos like bam, 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 bam. Sorry, you see? So it's like constantly like mommy mode, mommy mode and like vlogging and like makeup and YouTube. So it's constantly like, which is fine. So yeah, so overall the foundation did last quite a long time. Well, overall, I think the foundation lasted pretty, pretty good. Um, I think it's just the same as the other formula um, of CoverGirl. The, this one, the Ready, Set, Gorgeous. I think it's, it's the exact same thing. I honestly do. I think it's even the same as the CoverGirl, this one. The 3-in-1, this one is like my all-time favorite. I don't really see a difference. I think it was just the same same formula and everything is just different different things you know so like this one it has a pump and this one it has a squeezy tube and now the other one it has an applicator so I just think it's just that like something different but it's the same formula because it lasts just just the same um covergirl is my go-to foundation for my everyday makeup look um when I want something just for every day it works good even on those days where I want book coverage works awesome so it just depends what you like and what you don't like um I love Code Girl. so yeah um overall I really didn't see a difference with the whole facial hair and the fine lines and stuff like that I feel like it's still there like there's there's really nothing out there that's gonna make it be like you know like oh you can't see it um unless you shave your face um, I still can see it. I even zoomed you guys up close. You guys can still see like the baby fuzz here and here. Like it's it's still gonna be there. And to me, it's like no biggie. It's not that big of a deal where it looks like I have a bigote. So you know what I mean. So I'm okay with it. Yeah, I don't know. I I really don't see a difference. Like not even like gonna like try to sell you on it. Like I don't think it's it's. It's, it's the same like I really do think so the only cool thing is the applicator the applicator is really awesome maybe they should start selling things like individually so just like the applicator they should sell that with the package if you want it with like the foundation and the applicator or if you just want to try the applicator just buy the applicator just like physician formula just how um, the brush was bomb diggity but the foundation sucked for me so um yeah like it's just things like that if the foundation's the same, like they should try to make a little hustle with the whole like little applicators that they're coming out with. I don't know, but that's just my opinion. Um, let me know down below what you guys think, if you guys like the foundation, if you guys seen a difference. Did you guys see a difference with like the lines and stuff, like with the, the peach fuzz or whatever, or your fine lines or anything? Did you see a difference? Did you like it? I really want to know. I want to know maybe it's just because I'm different, I'm like more brown biscuit so you can kind of see it more on me. You never know. People are had different opinions and things work differently on different people. So please let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.